26 February 2014. Okay, what happened to this dog? Oh, he's it came very bad skin. Recently, a few rashes. Oh, mm. my. Where, where is the rashes? Oh, very general. Like. Generalized, huh? Yeah, but it's moving into the neck and the arms. The neck is here, huh? Yeah. The neck, yeah. The neck here is scaly. The black colour it shows that it's been going on for a long time. Yeah. Do you shave the place because it seems to be hairless here? Yeah, uh, we are just shaving down. So because when his when his skin when his hair goes longer, it's less worse. Mm, okay. So how long has this been going on? Uh, no. Uh, maybe two years already. Okay. We, we this this includes the armpit as well. Yeah. Armpit, armpit and elbows, and then the lower part, the thighs, the thighs as well. Has been biting it? Yeah, he has been. He's biting all these areas? Yes. Licking and biting? Licking, yeah. Okay, how about the ears? Has he been scratching his ears and shaking his head? Uh, the back of the ears. No, I mean, has he been uh, shaking, shaking the ears? Uh, because I noticed the ears are scaly as well. Mm -hmm. There's a dandruff here. Has he been scratching his ears? Yeah. yeah. And shaking his head? Yes. For how long has he been there on? Uh, same, same amount. Yeah. Two years? Yeah. What do you use for the ears? Yeah. Some, some white powder. You put powder inside? Yeah, there's some powder that they give. Yeah. Who gave you the powder? I think. Ah, there you can see. Yeah. It shows that the ears were itchy yeah, and painful. Now, who put the powder in? I think my mom. Okay. Yeah, my so now we. Doctor okay, so we look at this side. Okay, so we this side. Come. Put this side. Now, now we check this ear. So. Now, this is the left ear. Equally scaly. This is due to scratching, a lot of scratching. And uh, I'll check the ear. I see, see the leg. There's a reflex. Huh? This is due to the ear itchy. When the ear is itchy, the dog will. Uh, the dog will. So the dog normally scratches the, the armpit, right? Using yeah. the back leg. Huh? Yeah. Now, the main reason is that there's a arthritis external, the inflammation of the ear. Yeah. It causes a very intense itch. So the dog will. Use a back leg to scratch here and then scratch here the armpit mm -hmm. as well as the neck. Mm -hmm. So that, that explains why you have all this uh, blackness. This is quite a long time. Mm -hmm. This way it becomes pigmented. Okay. Uh, so that is the reason. The main reason is the cock in English cockle has very uh, floppy ears, we call it. Yeah. So everything is covered. There's no ventilation. Mm -hmm. So when there's no ventilation, it becomes very damp. And uh, inside, and all the fungus, yeast, and the bacteria that can be inside. Mm -hmm. Now, you put powder in, the more powder you put in, the more obstructed the ear canal is. Okay. Because the powder can't come out. Okay. Because the vertical canal and the horizontal canal, there's a two, it's an L shaped canal. Mm -hmm. So, the more powder you put in, the more, the more painful it is for the dog because powder can't dissolve. Okay. Oh, and uh, has it been treated by an, another vet before? Yes. When? Oh, I'm not sure. Huh? Is it recently? No, not recently. Last two years? Uh, probably maybe seven eight months ago. Uh, uh, but did he recover? Yeah, he did. Then recently he just... And because we stopped him from eating wet food, so... Because I think the vet told us to let him eat wet food to try. Then <coughs> he got better. But recently he's been stealing a lot of food. Do uh. you think it's allergy to food? Um, Possible. Yeah. Dog food allergy? But no, no, the dog food is fine. It's just when he starts eating like wet food. Like human food. Table food. No, this part is scaly as well. This part. Although you can't see it. So you can see that it's quite itchy and so the, the leg keeps on. So the best uh, solution is to shave. Or yeah, no, we should have done. Okay, now the, the, the previous vet treated it, was there any dandruff at that time? You see a lot of scales here. Yeah, indeed. What's he already had. Huh? He already had. And it, did he fully recover from these scales? Uh, not fully, but but it wasn't is that it? bad. It wasn't as bad as, as it is now. So, what, what did the, the vet say about the diagnosis at that time? No. I wasn't there. I wasn't there, yeah. So, was he on medication at that time? Yeah, he was. And also, he was on medication and also on... Uh, no, not, not oral medication, but a powder. Oh, the ear and powder. Also, and also a shampoo. Mm -hmm. But no oral? No oral. No? 
Ah ouais, moi, c'est une bonne chose. Ah, mais pas de là-bas. Et moi, c'est Il a une Il dans le zen. Il a une Il a une chute. 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 Il a une Oh, the ears mm. being a uh, being uh, obstructed. Yeah, there's, there's no there's ventilation. No. The the actual solution uh, mm. is to do the opening of the ear canal by cutting out this this uh, piece of cartilage, mm. so the vertical canal is open up, and uh, there is no more uh, <laughs> obstruction there with ventilation because the this tube here mm. or this tube here traps all the water and. And uh, it's humid, is it? There is no drainage, mm -hmm. no ventilation. So the best solution for all these uh, cockles with uh, this opening, uh, this a cut open, this side skid, side flap, uh, mm -hmm. and then the opening will be our ears. And if you don't do that, huh? what's the alternative to that? The alternative, come see the vet now and then, and oh. come on, come on. Cleaning the ears, irrigating the ears, yeah, and then giving drugs and shape board, and then it keeps on going on and on until the the, the dog has no uh, no uh, no solution. Okay. So for, for such cases, especially this has been going on for so so many months, mm -hmm. and it's already four years old, right? Uh, three years plus. Uh, three years plus. So the best solution is to do the operation, and uh, you you uh, you can do some research on the internet. Okay. And you will find that uh, it's very uh, effective, okay. uh, rather than giving drugs mm -hmm. and washing and shaving, because in the end uh, there might be some growths here later on. When the dog is older, there may be some growths okay. due to scratching. Uh, mm -hmm. They develop some growths. So basically, it's cut. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cut open the side here. Yeah, this, this, this. So they become. It become open up, so there's no more U shape trapping. You know, like the U shape in the yeah. sink, you open up the side, mm -hmm. so you can clean the ears very, very easily. And this vertical canal is no more, huh? no more painful. See, that's very painful. It can shake it. So that that is the solution. Okay. But uh, if not, then we will just do the medical treatment. I think I think I, I speak to my mom. Never mind. I, I just let you know that yeah. there is a solution. Uh, it's a surgical solution rather than a medical one. Okay. Okay, so that's the, the uh, end of this uh, consultation. So now you will just shave, bought and wash and clean. You shave now, is it? Afternoon, yeah.